Hey everyone, what is 79 multiplied by 11? What is 4% of 250? What is the sum of all even numbers from 0 to 100? 7, 9, alpha, beta, gamma, oh math! Oh, but don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to give you some math tricks to help you solve all these problems really quick. So today, I'm going to give you 5 math tricks and 3 tips from renowned mathematicians to help you become the wizard of mathemagic. So hey, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. And today's episode is sponsored by QMath, an after-school math excellence-based program with both home-based centers and an online portal. For students from KG to 10th standard, QMath is one of India's largest dedicated math learning program and the focus is to build the foundations of math with a unique curriculum and teaching methodology that's designed by experts from IIT and the University of Cambridge. Now what's really exciting is that you're getting a free demo class and the link is given in the description box below. So click on that link, get yourself a free trial class and if you enroll, you get a 10% discount on the package. And now let's get going with the 5 math tricks for fast calculation. Trick number one is called estimation. So, so many times we walk into a restaurant when it says 12% off or we walk into a store and it announces 30% off and we are freaking out that what does it exactly mean? So, how about we learn a quick trick of how to estimate mentally right there in the store or the restaurant. So, what is 4% of 250? Now, before we jump into the answer, how about we try estimating that answer? Let's take 10% of 250 and 10% would mean 25, right? We all know that. Now, what is 1% of 250? That would mean 2.5. And if we want 4%, then it's 4 times of 1%, which is 4 times of 2.5, which is 10. Okay, let's try another exercise in estimation. Now, before you start adding all these big numbers, let's try to take them to the nearest 100. So, I would take 988 up to 1000 and I would take 880 up to 900 and I would add them up and I would get 1900. Now, how much have I added here in order to get 1000? I've added 12 to 988 and I've added 20 to 880 to get 900. So I need to subtract this 32 from 1900 and I get 1868. So wasn't that easy? Tip number one, visualize, don't memorize. So Albert Einstein once said that pure math is actually like a poetry of logical reasoning. So don't look at math as cramming up all those formulae. Instead, look at it like a storybook or a pattern and that will help you enhance your logical reasoning. Okay, so what is the sum of all even numbers from 0 to 100? Mm -mm. Okay, let's break that down. What is the sum of all even numbers from 0 to 10? Now there are four even numbers between 0 and 10 which are 2, 4, 6 and 8. Let's visualize these numbers. So 2, let's draw 2 and if I take 4, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 and if I take 6, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if I take 8, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what have I got here? is a square of 4 into 5 which is 20 and now you can begin to guess the formula it's the number of even numbers between 0 and 10 so in this case it's 4 even numbers between 0 and 10 multiplied by n plus 1 that is 5 which is equal to 20. Now try it with odd numbers 
it's not exactly this formula it's something different and i want you to put that formula in the comment section below what is the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 10 and what did you get as the formula And before we get to the balance three tricks, don't forget to tell me which of these tricks was your favorite. Or if there's any other trick that you love, put everything down for me in the comment section below this video. Trick number three, division by five. What is 25 by five? Five, that's easy. But what is 2341 by five? Hmm, okay, let's remember five is 10 by two. So how about we first divide this by 10? So 2341 divided by 10 is 234.1 and now I can multiply this by 2 and I've got 468.2. Wasn't that quick? Okay, and now's your turn. 897 by 5, the fastest calculation in the comments box right now. Tip number two, strengthen your fundamentals. Eric Temple Bell, a famous Scottish mathematician, once said that obvious is the most dangerous word in mathematics. So go back to basics, strengthen your fundamentals and practice, practice, practice to become this expert slowly and gradually. Okay, now a very simple trick. Trick number four is multiplication by 11. And I'm going to take a very basic example right now to explain this. Let's take 43 into 11. And when we multiply it, the units place is this. The first digit is this. And the digit in the middle is the sum of these two. 473. Now that sounds too easy. So let's take a little complicated example to see if that really works. Okay, we've got a bigger number here, 346 by 11. Let's see how it goes. So the units place is 6. The first digit is 3. Now, the number here is the sum of these two digits, which is 10. So I put a 0 here and I keep the 1 for carry forward and the number here is the sum of these two digits which is 7 and so the answer is 3806. This formula works fail proof, you just need to be careful about doing the carry forward every time. Now before we move on to the next tip, I wanted to remind you that we have a video called the 5 tips to score 100% in math and I'm dropping a link for you in the description box so you can go check that out once you've finished watching this video. And trick number 5 is to find the square of any number ending in 5. This magical trick will help you find this square at lightning speed. So what is the square of 85? Quick. Write it down in the comment section right now. Did you get 7225? If you didn't, here's how we got it. So 85 into 85. Now, the last two digits will always be 25. The square of 5 is 25. And the first two digits will be 8 into the number that comes after 8, which is 9. So 8 into 9 is 72 and you've got 7225. Let's try this with 105. So 105, a square and like I said the last two digits will always be the square of 5 which is 25 and the first few digits will be 10 into, you're right, 11. So 1, 1, 0. Isn't that lightning speed? Okay, so now that we've learned these five tricks for fast calculation, remember that math is much more than just fast calculation. It needs logical reasoning, the right mindset, and above all, lots and lots of practice. And meantime, press the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And give us a thumbs up so we can make more math videos for you. And happy watching.